Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about cages for your camera and actually a new accessory that I'm super excited about. Okay guys, so for those of you who don't know, there are a lot of companies out there that make cages for your camera. And what a cage is, let me show you. Let me grab my Sony a6400. What a cage is, looks something like this. What a cage does, it gives you a little bit of protection for your camera, but more importantly, it allows you to add all sorts of accessories to the camera, whether it be lights, whether it be a handle, whether it be a monitor, etc. cetera. It, it gives you all sorts of mounting points all along the camera that, that just makes your camera more flexible and more versatile. Typically, before I bought this new, this new handle, I have a handle that I bought from Small Rig and, whoa, almost dropped it. You can see here that it is, um, it's nice. It, it does the job, but it's a little small for my taste, a little small for, for, for my hand, for my setup. So I went with something different. I went with something new from Small Rig. And not only is it a bigger handle, but it's got a record button on the top of it. So let's go take a look. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, it comes in your standard small rig case, small rig box. Let's go ahead and open this up. Um, I already, already opened this once, just to take a quick peek. But I wanna show you guys what comes in the box. So you got your standard cable. It's just a cable that runs from the small rig handle to the camera and then your standard small rig packaging. If you've ever had anything small rig, pretty much it all comes like this. I'll toss that out of the way. Toss the bag out of the way here. Let's get the box. Let's get all that stuff out of the way. So this is the handle. It looks much bigger, much sturdier than my previous handle. It's got the record button there on top. Um, let me get my, let me get my A7S, I'm sorry, the A7 III. All right, so this is what I typically have now. Um, I have it in a cage and depending on my setup, I mount various different things to it. But this is the handle that I previously bought. Go ahead and take this off. It sits on a NATO rail. That there's a NATO rail and your handle slides on it. And then you just tighten it down. Just tighten it down there. So I like how quick, how quickly you can change out various accessories on a small rig cage. But I always had a problem with this handle because looking at my hand, once I get it kitted out and rigged up the way I want, this handle is just a little too small for my hand. And so I'm really excited Really happy that this other handle, look at the size difference there. But this other handle is much bigger. Look at that. Much bigger, much more. Put my whole fist around that and some. So it's just much more comfortable. But having the record button on here is gonna be a lifesaver. So. Again, you slide that over the needle rail, so it's in place. Spin this here, lock it down. Boom, look at that. Again, the size comparison. Oh man, I'm in love with this already. So I should be able to take this out of the package. Looks like it's USB-C connections. I don't know if you guys can see that. So typically what I would do is I would plug the cable into the handle. One end goes into the handle, it's USB-C. And then for me, I would try to run this cable just kind of out of the way. I don't like anything pulling on the, the cable. And then the other end plugs into your, your multi-port here on the A7 III. 
If I can plug it the right way, I'll flip it around. So it plugs in there, dang it. And this door is really a problem. This little cover kind of gets in the way. Okay, we got it in there. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera on. And see if you can hear. You hear that beep? It starts recording. It stops recording. I'm loving it already. To be able to just sit here and hit the button and, and record without having to go hunting. Because typically on the A7, the button, the record button's here. It's really tiny. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there. And it can be a pain once you get all your gear, once you get it all rigged up co completely. You know, sometimes I have a V-mount battery on here and a monitor and other things going on. Cables are in the way. Reaching down here to, to, to get to the record button can be a pain. So being able to, to hit it from the top there, ah, it's a lifesaver. So as you guys can see, I'm super excited about this. I'm super happy that I made this purchase. I believe it was $69 from Small Rig. It just came out and I had to jump on it right away because rarely do I buy anything that, that shows up in my feed. You know how you, you know, you, you'll search online, you do a little browsing for, for something and the next thing you know, everywhere you go, you're seeing ads for that product or ads for similar products. And typically I ignore them because usually if there's something I wanna buy, I just buy it. If not, then I've made the decision not to, but somewhere along the line, you know, the, the Facebook and Instagram and, you know, the algorithm, the, the, what do you call it? The pixel that follows you around the internet. It's gotten pretty good. It's gotten pretty smart because I wasn't really looking for any small rig stuff, but on my Instagram feed, that handle showed up and I just had to order it and give it a try. So right now I'm in love with it. I, you know, I want to do more testing. I want to use it a lot more. You know, I don't want to say this is a review or anything. Maybe I'll do a review on it later. I'm not sure. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to share uh, something new that, you know, could be helpful. But uh, that's it for this video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. And um, if you like the channel, if you like what you heard, if I've helped you out at all, you know, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.